After a Los Fresnos family lost their home and everything in it to fire last week, the community has taken it upon itself to help the family get back on their feet. CBS 4's Joel Florida spoke with the folks who have come together, and he has our report. Losing their home within a matter of minutes because of a candle, the Cantu family now has been staying at a local shelter, accepting whatever the community can give them to start over. There's a lot of people that worry about my kids, and and I'm, I'm happy that there's people that really want to help people out. Something like this, nobody should ever go through, and... I didn't want them to think that nobody in the community cared. They're really nice people, you know, I mean, I look at them and I mean, they look like humble people, you know, and it's just so sad that they're going through this, especially around the holidays. Marichapa's husband told her about what happened to his employee Jose and his family, and she has taken it upon herself to ask people through social media for donations. She also gathered things from her own home to help out. So far, I've already gotten about 12 people that have helped us donate uh, clothes, presents. I got presents in the car for them. I've got some food that I gave them yesterday, um, blankets, towels. I mean, practically everything. Marichapa and her friend Ashley Garza met with the Cantu family to give them the donations. I'm also getting clothes, shoes, uh, materials for school, hygiene products, um, as well as sofas. I have some kitchen items for whenever they're ready to move into a home. They can also have that as well. Jose Cantu says the donations from city departments, the Red Cross, and residents has been nothing less than a miracle. I don't feel that I'm by myself. I feel that there's other people out there that uh, are willing to help help out. Christmas gifts for the kids were included and the Chapa family is inviting the Cantu family to Christmas Eve dinner. Joel Flores, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. And if you would like to help the family, we have set up a link to a donation page along with this story on ValleyCentral.com.